are hoping to build up a system that pairs homeless veterans and others together to make affordable housing that much more affordable. ABC 10 News reporter Ryan Hill is joining us now in studio with how they plan to do that and how it's helped some veterans in our community, Ryan. Yeah, Kimberly, that's right. These nonprofits were recently awarded a $200,000 grant. The goal is to use this money to create a regional system when it comes to shared housing to get more people into those permanent homes. I was working for an upholstery shop and uh, I had keys to it. And so you know, I'd sleep on the floor and had a bathroom. Uh, but yeah, it just was not cool <laughs> at all. Last year, Navy vet Chaz Gardner was homeless for six months. He would eventually get some much needed help from the local nonprofit a joint. It was an opportunity called shared housing. So we've been doing it because that's the only way that some people on a fixed income or lower income can afford to be permanently housed. A concept that's a way for unhoused people to live together and share the cost of living in a place. In an effort to be creative, another nonprofit, Townspeople and Adjoin, are teaming up to use $200,000 in grant money to support more shared housing. We are going to, from the ground up, build a program that will pair um, unhoused folks with unhoused folks um, that that could potentially be great housemates. The hope is to normalize shared housing to help tackle finding permanent housing for the homeless. So the idea is to find ways to creatively house people given the, the high cost rental market that we live in and also leveraging the how the rental inventory that exists, which is primarily multi bedroom units. Another goal of the system is to eventually make the system region wide and be available to more unhoused. But the more people, you know, the more opportunity there is to match to somebody. So that's why we want to uh, create an effective, efficient system and then scale up. The director of veteran services for a joint tells me that if a roommate situation doesn't work out, they do have the funds to be able to put somebody up at a temporary location and move in a different roommate. If conflict resolution resources aren't working reporting live here in the studio, Ryan Hill, ABC 10 news.